Pika AI just got upgraded. Now you can turn any text, image, or video into a stunning video masterpiece. So how can you turn your ideas into amazing content without any hassle or limitations? You've come to the right place. In this tutorial, we'll show you how to use Pika to create content that's simple, fast, and amazing. You'll never look at videos the same way again. To get started, visit pika.art slash login. Check the link in the description. And here you can see some of the awesome examples Pika allows you to generate. So let's sign up. We're going to choose sign in with Google, but you can sign in with Discord too. Once you're in, check out the Explore page. At the bottom, you'll find the prompt bar. Here, you can type in text and upload images or videos. Plus, there are cool video options like motion control and parameters. So let's see exactly how you can turn text into video. There are two options. You can either write and narrate what you want or just choose what you like on the Explore page. Let's explore the page first. You can simply hit retry on some of these amazing example videos on the Explore page and it'll generate a unique video like that in no seconds. Here's the cinematic shot of a wolf on a cliff. We were curious to see the magic in action, so we clicked retry and the video started generating in no time. It's a very realistic shot of a wolf standing on a cliff. Now, let's try an actual text prompt, like a sloth hanging from a tree in the jungle in the style of a cartoon. In the style of anime, 3D render, and pixel art. We just generated a bunch of them to show you what's possible. We have all the different styles of sloths hanging from a tree. You've got the cartoon version, which looks straight out of a Tarzan animated movie, the anime style, which kind of looks like a creepy animal, the 3D render, which looks pretty amazing, and the pixel art style. We really like the pixel art. It could definitely go into games. Now, you might notice that the text to video is okay, but it's not as good as the next feature, image to video. So, first things first, visit the Merlin chatbot. You'll have to download its Google extension. The link is in the description. And use it to create an image of a cow eating grass in pixel art. Here's the picture it generated. We just grabbed it and placed it here, adding the prompt cow eating grass. And then we generated many more images. Here's a lazy cat and an old school car on the road in the 1980s. Check out this guy wearing a gas mask in World War I and a Superman walking in lightning. We ran them all through the image to video function without messing with any of the different settings like motion control and here's what it generated. This cow eating grass kind of only zooms in, doesn't actually eat. Then there's this lazy cat which looks like it's zooming in with a bit of lightning changes. Next up, we've got a vintage car cruising through the city. Here's a guy in a gas mask that just blinks and a Superman striding through the amazing lightning, which looks really amazing. So these results give us the idea that you'd need to fine tune the prompt a bit to get the best results. The better the prompt, the better the results you'll get. Now, let's give video to video a whirl. For this step, head on over to YouTube Shorts. Find a video you really like. We like this short, so we downloaded it and dragged it here and tried a bunch of other prompts, like woman as a superhero, silver woman, very fashionable and minimalistic. We even got this video of Stephen Curry that we can't wait to put to the test. Here we've got this in the style of anime, then old fashioned animation, and finally zooming into the camera as a superhero. While the anime and superhero results are quite amazing, it's clear that adding a bit more detail to the prompt can really work wonders. Now let's take a look at a couple of other exciting features. Additional features. Let's go on a quick tour of the explore page. Take a look and pick one that you like. We like this surfing video. Now let us show you the add four seconds feature. We'll just click on it and we've got the entire prompt in front of us, along with the selected video. Now click on add 4 seconds. You'll notice that you can edit the video options here, like playing with motion control and parameters. We want to put the motion control to the test. See how the camera control is already set to the right? Now we'll set it to tilt up. Let's generate another version, one that rotates to the left and another with zoom in. You can also tinker with the frames per second from 8 to 24. Lastly, check out the negative prompts. They steer clear of generating ugly, bad, and terrible, etc. A quick tip, it also has a feature of setting text consistency, meaning the visibility of generated text's coherence in contrast to image-based generation. Let's keep it at the default and give it a spin. Here's the initial take. Pretty straightforward, nothing too fancy. 
but we like this one the most. The sails are meticulously detailed, and the final bit, where it gracefully slows down, totally steals the show. Now let's look at Modify Region. We'll just give that a tap, select it around an object, and swap it out by prompt. For instance, the initial prompt is a tiny photographic windsurfer, but let's change that to a boat. The results aren't great, just look at this boat. Now let's look at motion control. We'll write a new prompt, man camping making food on a fire in front of a beautiful lake in the daytime. Let's try to pan it right. For another version, tilt it up. Next, rotate it clockwise. And last, zoom in. We're cranking up the motion to the max on all of them. What's cool is that you can even juggle multiple prompts at once, so let's give that a go too. Now, here's the first one without any motion control. Meanwhile, the second one has a pan to the right. The third one gets a tilt up and the fourth does a twisty clockwise rotation. The last one has all the motion features we said earlier. This one's got a dizzying mix of all of them. You can clearly see how the camera movement is far more dynamic. Now, our absolute favorite trick is hitting that retry button on all of them, just like this. It lets you generate all videos. This way you can snag the best video. So go ahead and give it a whirl. Now let's talk about pricing. They've got a free plan with 30 initial credits that top up to 30 daily, meaning you can churn out a whole lot of videos on the house. However, there will be a watermark. You can remove that watermark by shelling out $10 per month or snag a bargain at $8 per month if you go yearly. With these plans, you can bank on 700 credits refreshing monthly with an added 30 daily. Plus, you have the option to buy more credits at a discount, enjoy upscale resolution, and ditch that watermark. Now, if you're eyeing the top shelf plan, the yearly will set you back $58 per month. Go monthly and it's $70. The big perks here are unlimited chill generations and unlimited lighting generations. So is it really worth it? Well, it all boils down to who you are and what you need. If you're a filmmaker hungry for unique shots, it's a no-brainer. And if you're running a no-face YouTube channel with many voiceovers and clips, this could be the ace up your sleeve. And that's a wrap. What feature of Pika AI are you most excited to try? Share your thoughts below and don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more creative content. See you next time.